Ba-dum, ba-da-dum, boom, ba ba boom, ba ba da dum boom, ba ba. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Moonlighter. Uh, this game looked super fun, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Uh, start a new game. Normal, normal game slot. Yes, hard. Recommended. Original difficulty level created by the developers. Recommended for most players. Shouldn't that be normal? Fuck it. <laughs> Should I just? I don't. I don't understand that. You, know, you had normal, hard, and very hard. And you just easy, normal, and hard. <laughs> Among the stars of the night, there is a land of old something. This old something. Look at that. Oh shit! There's more text. One night, mazes is full of extraordinary treasures and deadly something. They called them the dungeons. Strange, ever-changing ruins of unknown lands. Look, I can read fast. Soon a village of a slightly curious tuck root near the dungeon. This they named Ry Rhinoka. Among the settlers, two groups shine brightest. Heroes and merchants. Glory and riches. And guess what, B? I'm both. But the dungeons proved too dangerous. They were soon closed as too many lives were lost in their, lost in their depths. Jesus. Don't mind my speech impediment. Life became hard for the town, especially for a young owner in the oldest shop Will of Moonlighter. Long dreaming of opening a mysterious fifth of the fifth door of the dungeons. He tied his headband on. J to continue? That's a weird uh, key binding. <laughs> it's me. He looks like a sad man. Ooh, he sees something. Yeah, I figured. I figured. Uh, yep, space is roll. Uh, what is... I can step on things. Yo! Okay, what's over here? Let's roll, roll. Understood that. Oh, roll over chasms. Gotcha. Enter the gungeon style. Uh... Oh? Okay. Oh, okay. It was just... I just walked through the other one. Uh, J. Oh, okay, so J is a... Is he using a broom? That's not an effective killing machine. Killing tool. We got potions. So I think the basis of this game is to... Collect stuff inside a dungeon. Um. Oh, okay. Yeah. I did it. Okay. Jay, you collect stuff inside a dungeon to sell at your. Uh. Oh. Okay. There we go. Sell at your mer at your shop at your your thing. So this is, uh, this is weird controls, but I can kind of, I'll eventually get the hang of it. Oh! <laughs> I just realized that I did not move that right. And it's a good thing I realized it. Otherwise, that would have been bad. Wow, there's a lot of things in here. <laughs> uh... Could you not jizz on me? I'd appreciate it. Ouchie. 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 Okay. Am I... Are you just trying to prove to me that I'm not strong enough to be in here yet? Is that what this is? Yep. I think that's what that was. Okay. That was, uh... That was scary. Oh, I got gooped. They goop me out. <laughs> Hello, I'm the wandering man. Ooh, you got a beard on him. What a sorry looking kid. Wow, fuck you guy. <laughs> All alone now. Rest for a bit. W Will? I have, is my name Will? Okay, I don't. 
think my name's Will. Look at that goopy little critter down there. <laughs> oh shit, I forgot the shop's open. Hey kid, come run this shit. Even as a mere child, barely able to walk, oh, I guess I should keep doing his voice. You were curious of the dungeons, because you're a fucking idiot. What the hell's wrong with you? You're going to die in there one day. There's no doubt you carry the same <laughs> obsession as old Pete. Who are the fuck are these characters? I don't know. Yo, what's up? I heard you talk about Pete. <laughs> Morning, boy. <laughs> Did our little merchant bite off more than he could manage? Yeah. Mainly because, you know, they just wouldn't stop. Well, listen to me. The hard truth is, is this. You fucking suck. <laughs> yeah, you are the last of your family. The only one left to run the Moonlighter. Yeah, guess what? Yeah, fuck you. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on this fifth door nonsense is foolish. Just leave it. Find some artifacts and use your pendant to get out of the dungeon. And for crater's sake, stop using the broom of yours. You daft boy. It's dangerous to go alone and take the- Oh, nice, nice fucking joke there, old man. Ha ha ha. Fuck you. It's mine from back in the day. Use it. I have a little need for it now. It's a sword and shield. We probably should have given you this before, but you know, fuck you. Now then, get up. <laughs> You're wasting light. Can't have you neglect the shop all day. Let's see if I can get through your heart. Hard ahead. Uh, some of the tricks that I picked up from your grandfather so many, many years ago. I'm not your grandfather? Who the fuck am I? I don't know. Some wandering homeless man that tells you what the fuck to do. You can go fuck yourself. Bye. <laughs> Successfully selling mer your merchandise takes knowledge of two things. You must know an item's value as well as its demand. Come now, open the shop up, allow the customers in. Nah, they don't deserve to come in. Shop's open. What's up, B? What you want? What you want? Oh, you want the crystal? That ain't for sale. Did you see that? Best expression you can hope for. The item wasn't too expensive for them, not so cheap for you to lose profit. Be sure to pay attention to your customers' expressions. That's how your grandfather always knew if his prices were fair. And this guy's gonna come and he's gonna be like, What the fuck? The other person paid 100. This guy did 170? He's gonna be like, Oh, yeah. I don't think I need to tell you how that item was obviously overpriced. Lesson learned? Did, did you see that you fucked up, kid? Finally, be careful of selling a popular item too much. If you flood the market, you will have to offer cheap prices in your wares. Point is, charge higher when something is in high demand and low in supply. Take out your merchant notebook. It should hold all the information. You have gathered on discovered wares and artifacts. Okay, my my notebook. Which one's which one's my notebook? It's this one. Uh, um, well, uh, we'll see the sun has fallen for the day. Best start off, you will pick up more on your own. Restoring this shop to its full glory? That's respons- that- that responsibility falls on you, not I. Cause fuck you, it's in your blood, Will. Make us proud, make us proud. And as in us, I mean me, cause I'm getting 50% of this store's profits. Fuck you. In the meantime, why don't you try out that new sword of yours? Dungeons are more perilous at night, but can one can always find better artifacts. Just don't dive too far and use that pendant. Boy! Boy! Alright, see you later. Go fuck yourself, huh? Go on now. These weary bones of mine must rest. What if I wanted to go home? Listen, I didn't learn anything from what you fucking taught me. I can sell my broom? I'm so confused on what any of this is. See? Oh. 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 Okay. 
Now we have to explore. The dungeon's up here. Can I talk to people? I sort of always wanted to become a merchant, but I could never, never find a pendant. Most pendants used today were found in the dungeon were first discovered. Since then, finding a new one has become nearly impossible. I just realized that that was a woman. That's fine. He sound, she sounded like Sonic. <laughs> Whoa, wait, that's cool. Where the fuck... Did we go over here to the Huggy Boy? What does it say? Golem Dungeon. Dungeon available for merchants and heroes. Okay. I am a merchant and a hero. That means I'll be really good at this dungeon. Uh, Dungeon 1. Let's go here. Oh, okay. Uh, alrighty. So over there was not good. Okay, so with that I can guard. I can I can block incoming damage. Double kill. That's right. I got sticks and fucking goop. Look at me go. Oh, there's the golem. Ouchie. Give me your golem rocks. You dumb piece of shit. Uh oh. I got. I forgot about Goop Man. Uh oh. Ouchie. Uh oh. What was. I don't remember what the heal button was. I think it was E. Yeah. I got him. Don't worry. I know you were worried, but don't. Easy fucking peasy boys. Who is this dead man? Can I have his satchel? To a person of hopefully far better luck than I, my time is short. I took injury from the strange creature across the room. My pendant all but shattered from the scuffle. Check him out though. I'd say I, I fared better than he. He caught me spying on him near the Guardian's room. He dropped a couple items when he fled. One of them which is a map... Diagram? Whatever it is, I was right. They called me crazy, said, Oh, Crazy Pete! Dungon lost his marbles! But I was right! Each Guardian of Dungeon must possess a key of sorts. All of them are linked to that giant door outside of the dungeons. The fifth door of Rhinoka. Sadly, I won't be around to see the door open. To whoever found me, I apologize for the smell. But the diagram should be around here somewhere. Please open the fifth door of Rhinoka. These dungeons are not what they see. Oh, give me your sticks. Big boss gonna kill me. <laughs> I'm supposed to let them all out. Now I have to chase this weird creature that stole my stuffs. Ah, big boss gonna be upset with little me. Oh, yeah. I was going to ask why it's called the fifth door, but that's probably because it's the fifth fucking door. <laughs> okay, so... Holding L takes me back. So where... Is that, am I supposed to go back? I would assume I'm supposed to go back. That's why I told me to do that. I gooped. Oh, wow. I killed things. It's kind of cool that it shows you what enemies you killed. Ooh. <laughs> What's up, you dumb bastard? Did you do good? Oh, the young proprietor of the Moonlighter has returned. You look intact. Finally learned to use that pendant properly. It's about time, boy. What are you holding? Is that a chart of the dungeons? Where'd you get this? You you found old P? You found your dad? Your dead dad? The guy that I killed? I mean, uh, the dead dad? Dead? See? This is what happens when you chase what's behind that door. Leave it, well! Just get the artifacts. You need it from the golem dungeon and look after the moonliner. Now, I noticed some posts on the town board that may interest you. 
So shops want to move in, attempt to revitalize this town. Apparently they need some startup capital first. It would be nice to see some new life in Rhinoka. And nice indeed. Are you telling me to fucking go spend all my money on their asses? Fuck you. Just kidding, I'm sure it's like a smith or some shit. Something, something, you know, actually good. Investments, town shop, town shop, town shop, town shop, town. Town? Vulcan's Forge. Do you feel the dungeons are too hard? Tired of your old weapon? I can solve that if you bring me enough money and materials. A forge to be reckoned with. Is brute force getting you nowhere in the dungeons? Visit the wooden hat to find potions and enchantments for this and that. Nice rhyming, yo. Cheap sale box? Iron cash register? The use This useful cash register will entice customers to add an extra 10% tip when paying. Right, because it's the fucking color of the cash register that really does it. Keep hearing an old rumor around town that's about the dungeons. That maybe particular artifacts are easier to find at night. I mean, that would make sense. Okay, I, he said something different, but I don't really fucking care, if I'm being honest. Can I place things? Uh, iron bar, glass lens, golem core, whetstone, teeth stone, teeth stone, teeth stone. Um, there. Uh... Let me check my teeth stone. Uh, how did I change it like that? I'm so confused. Uh, there. Teeth stone. What? But. Uh, that doesn't tell me anything. Oh no. Do I have to figure this shit out on my own? Because I'll tell you, <laughs> I'm probably not going to do great at this. Um. Uh. Uh. How do I... I'm gonna go twenty, uh, thirty gold each. Um, fabric, foundry rests, a broke sword. I mean, I feel like I can use a lot of this for myself. I'm not a good shopkeeper. Um, let's sell an iron bar. For thir uh, uh, forty for forty, because I got a lot less of those. Let's uh, let's drop this down to one twenty-five, since the other one sold for five hundred. And what is this, anyways? Crystallized energy. Okay. Okay. Um, read? Okay. Uh-huh. J. Open. Oh! Oh, nice. Uh, that is not what I meant. Okay, there we go. Uh, I think that's all I need out of here. I guess I probably could have sold the fucking... Let's go sleep. January 3rd. Alright, time to open up shop.